Hi! So, uh, today I thought I would show you my current record collection. It is not done, there's still lots of records that I would like to get, but this is just the ones that I have right now. So I have been collecting since mid uh, summer, or no, beginning early summer last year. So I've been collecting for a while, and I actually have a lot, but I don't buy all of them new. A lot of them are thrifted. Um, and by thrifted, I mean I found them at like a old record shop. It wasn't like a thrift store, um, because the thrift stores where I live, the records are just like everywhere, and a lot of them are scratched. So it's just like I don't even want to like go in there and fear that I'll find something that'll be scratched or like I'll find like the case to something some, something something but that physical record will be gone so I just thought that I would uh yeah so I just thought that I would go to actual record stores um there are two record stores that I go to I've got only gone to one of them once, but I go to the other one quite often, but they right around each other. So one of them is Platypus Records, and the other one is Turn It Up, and if you live anywhere near me, uh, then those are probably really accessible places for you. There are multiple uh, sites for Turn It Up. Platypus Records is a one, it's a one store. So Turn It Up just sells like music, uh, it sells like, a lot of used, only used music, and TV shows and things like that on disc uh they also have they don't have a lot of uh cassettes at the one nearest to me but they have a lot of cds and a lot of records and a lot of tv shows and movies and then platypus records is like the whole, it's like one room and it's just full of records um and they have like a cart of cds um but like they have they have so many used records it's like there are four tables and they're all just like full of like records and then under the tables are more records and they're super cheap so it's like I found some good stuff there anyway so we're gonna start with just the first ones here so the first ones I have are my Beatles records they were all thrifted all of them so you've probably already seen this one. This is a uh, rubber sole. I got this for two dollars in an antique store where I go for a vacation, and it was in really it's in really good condition. Um, the the cover isn't in as good condition, but you can't really expect it to be in like amazing condition or anything when you. Uh, when you buy it and it still smells like mold which is nice for me because I re actually really like that scent so the next one I have is A Hard Day's Night I have never seen the movie I've seen a scene from the movie um, this is such a good I love this album it's so good this I got for five dollars at a jazz festival my friend took me uh, yeah, I got this for five dollars. It was uh, pretty nice. Uh, yeah, but yeah, I also got these two and some of the other records I'm about to show you before I even had a record player. I already started collecting, and I don't regret it because when I got my record player, I didn't only have one record I could use. So if you were thinking about buying a record player, or you know that you're going to buy a record player, but it's not going to be for another few months, start collecting now. So you have what records to listen to when you actually have a record player. Um, and then the last one I have is this one. And I'm not sure what this album is called. I got this at Platypus Records for $5, I think. Um, I don't know what it, it's, I don't know what it's called. But they had a lot of Beatles records there. The reason I got this one specifically is because paperback writer is on this and that is my favorite 
Beatles song. That's the song that introduced me to the Beatles, but it's so hard to find. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, I have to get this. And it also has Hey Jude on it, which is a pretty jamming song, but it's just, I don't know, I love this so much. This is like my prize possession just because Paperback Writer is on it. Actually, it's not my prize possession, you will see. Okay, up next are my, oh, can't even look them up. Up next are my Little Feet records. This is not a Little Feet record. I have three of them. This one is technically my dad, but I listen to it a lot because it's really good. Uh, this is Feet Still Fail Me Now. Uh, and this song has Odeland on it, which is a weird song that I really knew by Little Feet until my dad bought this. This is four dollars at Turn It Up. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Next to I bought at Platypus Records, I believe they're around two dollars each. Uh, don't quote me on that, they could have been three dollars each, I don't remember. Uh, this is the one that I've listened to a lot. Dixie Chicken. This is such a- this is so good. I don't know, it's just- it's really good. Uh, yeah. My, um, parents listened to a lot of Little Feet when I was little, so I know a lot of the songs, even if I don't know the names of them. So I know Dixie Chicken. Two Trains, I don't know, but if I listen to it, I'll know it. I'll know, like, the lyrics and stuff. And the last one I have, I have not listened, I think I've listened to this once since I got it back in January. Uh, yeah, I have Down on the Farm. Uh, this is just, I bought this because I literally just thought this was funny. There's like a tire in the back. I don't know, I thought it was cute, funny, whatever. Um, yeah, but I mostly just bought those two for my dad because my dad's a fan of them. <laughs> Obviously. Okay. Uh, actually. Those are the only- oh, wait. <laughs> Never mind. We're gonna keep with the old music. Uh, this I bought for seven dollars, I think. This was a little more pricey. This is Traffic. I don't actually know what this album is called. I bought it because I remember seeing this on my iPod when I got it. So I knew that my parents knew who they were. Like I remember like seeing this guy's face and being like, he looks like he's having a fun time. His shirt looks cool though. Crushed velvet, that's great. Mm. But yeah, so I bought this. Once again, more for my dad, not really for me, but I own it because I bought it. He wasn't even there when I bought these records for him. I literally have a record player in my room, so I don't know why he even bothered buying me records. Okay, next one I have is Fleetwood Mac, Tusk. Um, really cool. I think I got this for around $7 as well. And this is a double album, so you have the two sides, but you have another record in there. And I believe, yes, right, this one still has like the lyrics and stuff all in it too. That's not the lyrics, that's just a sleeve. Yeah, this. What? Never mind. I was trying to show you guys something and I failed. So I'm just gonna push on up. Oh, that never happened. Now I'm failing to put this back in. You know what? Never mind. Okay, last like old kind of record, and I'm gonna move into the newer records that I have, and I bought new. I have Waiting in the Tramp. I got this for $2 at the antique store that I got rubber sole at as well. This is actually quite interesting. This has the vinyl in it. 
but it also has a, like a book. So like, it like, so th these are the lyrics, but they're in a book format. Like they give you like pictures and stuff. I don't know, I thought it was cool. And Bella Noche is on here, so let's go song. Don't, don't judge me, okay? Don't judge me. All right, now we're going on to the newer records. So these are the only two that I have of two, the same artist. And I'm going to show them in order in which I bought them. So I have Fall Out Boy, American Beauty, American Psycho. Um, this was at Barnes & Noble. And I think I bought this one with my friend. She is an indie boy. But this is also a colored vinyl. So this is really, really pretty, like blue marble. Yep. And it looks like the vinyl almost on the inside, which is really cool. And then that's them on the back. And then the other one I have of them is Porta de Lou. Porta de Lou. However you pronounce it, it's French. I am French, but I don't know how to speak it. Uh, and then over here, this is backwards, so you'll be able to read it, but I can't read it. Yeah. And this is also called Vinyl. And this has two records in it. So this is the red one. And then this is, this is my favorite because it looks like my favorite candy. The orange one and it reminds me of butterscotch. And I love butterscotch with a burning passion. If I get me butterscotch, I'm gonna be your best friend for like the rest of life. Um, and then this also came with a poster. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Um, but it's a double-sided poster. Okay, so you have like, you have your stand, you have like the album cover, but on the other side. <laughs> oh my god, have you ever, oh my goodness. Oh, it has like some words down here. But look at Pete Wentz and Patrick stuff. Andy and Joe haven't really changed that much. Andy just uh, cut his hair and Joe pretty much looks the same, but you know what? Patrick and uh, Pete, uh, they glue up like a highlight that was made by like, Jeffree Star. They glue up. It's amazing. <laughs> okay, next, since we're on the topic of the holy emo trinity, how many Panic the Disco vinyls? So I'm sorry about that. I have sweet cheers for sweet, sweet, sweet revenge on my chemical romance. This one was from Newberry Comics. Oh, the other one was from Amazon, by the way. This one was from Newberry Comics, and it took a lot of convincing for my mom to let me buy this one. But I'm so happy I bought it because I'm in love with it. Because not only is it one of my favorite my chemical romance albums. I'm sorry, but Black Parade is actually really good, so, uh, thank you. Um, is pink. It doesn't, it, oh, it doesn't look as pink on camera. It's a little more, it's a little more red on camera. It's definitely more pink in real life. Um, yeah. But, yes, this was around $25. The Fall Out Boy ones were both around $20. So yeah, Newberry Comics is just a little bit more expensive, but they have like the um, Newberry Comic exclusive one. I really want to get Alt J also Awesome Wave, so bad on vinyl because they have it, and it's an exclusive printing, and mm, I want it. You can tell I really like Newberry Comics. <laughs> okay, next one I have is Born to Die by Lana Del Rey. This was also around twenty dollars. Are no Barnes and Noble some cheap, cheapish like new records. And then my queen on it. Um, I bought this one with my grandma. Not that much to say about this one. I really like this album. So the list is really good. I don't care so much for uh, that one or that one. 
but the rest I am a fan of and I really like her stuff and I hope that I can listen listen get her other records as well because let me tell you I love Lana Marina uh what's her name Melody I love them okay I love them they're my little Melody my little baby even though she's a lot older than me um it's fine I just I love them because they're the only female artists artists that I really listen to because F Halsey I literally hate her the brain I don't hate her but we can get into that on another day thank you okay next one is Misfits pretty sure this one's just called the Misfits I don't know I bought this at Turn It Up I think it was like ten dollars not too bad <sighs> the names first of all if anyone thinks that this is hot, please tell me, because I find this really attractive. No one else probably does, but I think that that's hot. Anyway, I just found, like, I like the Misfits. I listen to their stuff. I have a Misfits flag hanging right there. I own two Misfits shirts. Love the Misfits. But on this album, some of the song titles are just funny to me. They're so... It's like they're trying to be really gruesome, but they're failing at it. Oh my god. It's just... The fourth song on the second side is Mommy, Can I Go Out and Kill Tonight? Then Die, Die, My Darling. Then Death Comes Ripping. Green Hell. Wolf's Blood. I just think that this is... It, I just thought it was funny, and it's... But it's a good album. I do. Of course, as you can tell, my <laughs> taste in music varies a lot okay next one am by the arctic monkeys my brother got me this one for christmas so i don't know where he got it actually yes i do it's from the berry comic but i don't know how much it was this is not a color print pressing which i'm not i don't even know if they made the color pressing personally i would have rather just had the black um yeah the only problem with this record is when I opened it, it was already scratched. So I don't know. It's this side. This side is scratched. I don't know where, but it doesn't work well. I think it's right there. You probably can't see it. No, you can't. Yeah, but that is so devastating for me because it is on side one, and side one has Arabella. That's my favorite song from this album. It's in hell. Okay, last vinyl that I have to show you guys is my most prized possession. I think I've ever actually owned, like, just blanket statement ever owned. Um, I got it for my birthday. It's a very expensive vinyl. Very popular vinyl. Uh, a lot of you guys probably know, if you know me, you know where I'm going with this. But, um, yeah, it's kind of heavy. It's the Hamilton soundtrack. Because I'm obsessed. I just went into Miranda Sings a little. I'm sorry, I really don't like her, but... This is my baby, my actual child. I literally could not stop like touching it and like feeling it and like honestly smelling it. It still smells like Barnes Noble. Oh yeah, I'm so weird. I'm sorry, but like it smells good. So this is from Barnes and Noble. I think it's like eighty dollars. I don't know if you like got it, but uh, you can always check. I know that it is really expensive. I do not suggest this being one of the finals you get before you get your record player because you don't know how much you're going to use your record player. To me, this is more of a collector's item, but like, it came with a digital download. I'm going to use that digital download. I'm trying to save my code. 
That's what it came like with those huge book. And this has all of the lyrics in it, but not only does it have the lyrics in it, it has who's singing. So it's not like you're just guessing anymore. Like you know who's singing. Although, literally the day after I got this, I think it was actually two days after because it was a Tuesday, I remember. I got a book in the mail for my mom. It was a Hamilton book, and it had all the lyrics in it <laughs> with the people who read it. So I was like, it must not be that crazy if everything has it. But yeah. Uh, last thing, last thing I want to show you is this is just the record player that I have. I know that I showed you guys it in my Christmas haul video, but I did not tell you it. Like, I didn't, you know. So I have the Victoria 1 in 6 Nostalgic Entertainment Center. So that's what it looks like. It looks old. But let me tell you, it's literally amazing. Because let me just, let me just tell you uh, how good this is. If I can get it to open. So you can listen to your vinyl records on it. You can listen to CDs on it, you can listen to the radio on it, you can listen to an aux, so you can plug something into it. You can use Bluetooth, which let me tell you, I've never used a Bluetooth thing in my life, and it's actually a lot easier than I thought it was. And then I can also use cassette tapes, which I just stole some from my parents, so now I have like three more cassettes tape. Cassettes tape. So now I have three more cassette tapes, and so I have five, so I, you know listen to some cassette tapes uh yeah that's all i have for this video there are definitely records that i would still like to get records that may come out that i want to get um cds that i want to want that will come out that i want to get cds i still want to get i would like to start getting uh more my chemical romance ones start getting some penny of the disco ones i kind of wish i didn't spend my money on the fallout boy ones because i am not the biggest fan of fallout boy <laughs> but it's fine it's chill i have like almost all their albums on cd i'm missing two of their albums on cd <laughs> But the fact is, I have all the Panic! at the Disco ones on CD, and that's all that really matters. Thank you, bye!